Hello everyone, Cutterdust99 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Wii Link 24. Uh, this is a now updated video, pretty much. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you how to install all uh, Wii Noma or Wii Room, the Digicam Print channel, and the Food channel or the Demay channel. Um, the Demay channel does have a different process, though. So we're gonna. Um, so I'll show you guys that. And and I don't know if in another video. Actually, no. I'll just I'll do it in this video because why not? But yeah, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Wii Link 24. I'm going to show you guys how to install uh, the patcher. Well, if you guys want to still do like th through the Windows patcher, this video I'm, I'm going to be doing it through the. Um, uh, I'm going to do it like the new way, which is pretty much the. Um, Oh my god, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to be doing it through the console instead of the um, computer this time using the Windows patcher. So yeah, we're going to get to it. Um, just like in the reconnect video, and uh, you will need an SD card. Make sure it is formatted to FAT32. You will also need, um, obviously, a Nintendo Wii. And... Yeah, that's kind of all you need, and also you need, obviously, the homebrew channel. But, obviously, that's really self-explanatory. You can, you obviously need a homebrewed Wii in order for this to work. But, yeah, we're gonna get to it. Uh, this tutorial is only for the regular Wii, so for V Wii and Dolphin Emulator, I am not sure. I'd say you should just ask the people at Wii Link. So, yeah. Um, no more time wasting. Let's get to it. Alright, so once you are on the... We we dot guide slash we link website. I don't think you can see it, but I'll put in the link in the description on the we dot guide slash we link website. It'll tell you the directions. The thing you want to uh, click the link to is the we link patcher. It'll tell you what you need. It tells you the instructions on here, but I'm telling you them in this video. So yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna click on we link patcher. Now, now this one adds domain though. This one is not a uh, Windows. Uh, Bat file. It's a, it's a regular wad. So we're not going to go to this one yet. We're we're going to go to the previous patcher, which includes uh, the dot bat, the uh, Windows dot bat file. Um, so if you have a Windows device, then download the dot bat file, and if you have like Mac or Linux, then download the Unix dot sh. Um. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do it again, but if you have a Windows machine, then you, then download the bat and Mac Linux, this one right here. Once you have installed um, either one of those, you want to go back down, um, and once you've, have it, once you've had it installed, uh, click on it, and you're going to enter in the Wii Link patcher. So you want to do what you did in the Reconnect24 patcher, just type 1. Uh, to start it now you want to type one again to install Wii link on your Wii now it will ask you what language you want English or Japanese I'm just gonna do English but if you have a Japanese Wii or you are Japanese um, or whatever or if you just want to experience it in Japanese then type two but I'm just gonna do one and just enter now my SD card is plugged in so I'm just gonna type in one but like in the reconnect 24 video I said if even if you don't have an SD card, you can still get the wads, but you will have to manually put them in yourself. So yeah, um, just type in one, click enter, and now I'll ask you if you want to start patching, exit, or change the drive letter. I'm gonna just start patching, but if the drive letter is wrong, uh, then you can switch it. My drive letter is right, so I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna type one, and now we enter, and it'll start installing everything. It will it will have some files showing up, but they will automatically delete. The only things that will not be deleted is the wad and apps folder. But besides that, I will be back once this is done installing. All right, now that it's done, you can pretty much just exit out, and then and uh, it'll just show up in your SD card or your U. USB drive or wherever. Oh yeah, there you go. We know ma English and Digicam English. And like I said, the Wad and Apps folder will be left on here. 
but you can delete. Actually, before we go to uh, back to the Wii, we're going to install the um, we're going to install Demay. So something different when it comes to Demay is that it is not on the uh, Windows pa uh, bat file on the Windows patcher for some reason. They just decide not to put it on the patcher. So for this one, we're going to go to the latest one, the Wii Link patcher version 1.0.7. And it says adds food delivery channel, and now you can now just like in the last one, there is a well, okay, <laughs> it like it has it on the previous one, but yeah, pretty much. Uh, you can now, uh, there is two uh patcher or two wads that you can get one for VWE and one for regular Wii. If you have the regular Wii, then you download this one, if you have the VWE on Wii U, then you download this one. I already have this installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it again. But yeah, just install it. Afterwards, once you have it installed, um, all you want to do now is just take it and then just put it into the WAD folder of your SD card. And then once that's done downloading, there you go. It's right here. There you go. It's now in the WAD folder. Now we're going to go back to the Wii. All right, now that we're back on the Wii, we're gonna put in our SD card. Let me just make sure I can put it in. There we go. Now we're gonna go to the homebrew channel. And we're gonna start it up. Okay. I'm gonna turn off my webcam. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're gonna go to Wii Mod Lite and we're gonna load it up. Now we're going to go to WAD Manager. Now you just choose the device where you installed it on. I installed it on the US on the SD. <laughs> what was I about to say USB? No, I installed it on the SD. Now we're going to just install everything. So we're going to install Winoma <clears throat> and just let it just install. Just wait for it. It can take a bit, but just let it do its thing. There we go. Now, before you install a Digicam, make sure you install the Wheeling 24 SPD, which means set personal data. As this will, as the reason why this is needed, as this will, this is the only way that a Digicam and a Demay can work. So yeah, first install the SPD.wad and then install Digicam. As uh, if you're gonna be doing the me business cards, you do have to you have to give them your email so they can automatically send them to you since they can't actually like physically deliver them to you. Now, finally, you can install the WeLink twenty the WeLink underscore or patcher underscore we dot wad, and just install that. And then there you go. Now you can go back to the homebrew channel. All right. Now we're, we can go back to the menu. All right. And now we're back on the Wii menu. You can see. Hold on. There we go. So we're gonna. I'm gonna first set the personal data on Digicam real quick, just so you can just get everything set up for Digicam. There we go. Okay, requires nine blocks. That is okay. And 
have to go to... Oh, there you go. Add a personal data. There you go. This is where we set everything up. Alright, so put it, put your name in. So, since this is for um, Lily, I'm going to just put for for someone named Lily. This is actually true. Uh, there's It's a special someone of who I'm associated with named Lily. So I'm just going to put her name in, Lillian. And then I'm going to put the last name as Smith. You do have, like I said, you do have to do this for uh, Digicam and uh, and uh, Demay, I think. So yeah. All right, now you put in your email address. So I'm gonna just gonna put that in real quick. So give me a second. All right, now that I finished setting up my email address, wait, as you can see, I have uh, Lillian's name, little first and last name, and now just click on done go to digicam and now it can work and I'll just show you guys right now that it will work there you go you click on start shit there you go yeah um, okay let me just go back real quick me menu yes now we're going to be installing uh, Demay, and shouldn't be too hard. We have to just go to the Wii Link Patcher that we installed on our Wii. You can see there it is. This is the only way we can install uh, at least the English version of the Food Channel or the Demay Channel. <coughs> if you guys want the Japanese wad, I will put that in the link in the description uh, as um, Shoko uh, gave it to me as as a um, as just so I can get the Japanese water working yeah so uh, we're gonna go to food channel choose your language English now we just wait it shouldn't be too long It's going to be downloading the contents, and then we just wait. I'll be back once this is uh, done. All right, it's done. It may come up with this error, but that is okay. Just return to the menu. Uh, go back. Go to the homebrew channel. That's what HBC stands for. Yeah, so we mod light. Load that. And it should be, and the watch should be in the root of your SD card. And we're just going to wait for this to load. Or for, we're going to wait for it to load up a uh, Wii Mod. Alright, now that we are in Wii Mod Lite, what we're going to now do is go to WAD Manager, Wii SD, go back, and there's a Demay WAD. Should be down there. There we go. Click, click on Demay WAD, install WAD. And then just wait. And there we go. It's done. Now we're going to go back to the homebrew channel. and to the system menu and the domain channel should show up there it is there you go that that is how you install wheeling 24 I know you I know you can just install it through uh, the Wheeling Patcher, but I still prefer just doing it on the through the uh, batch file. So that's just my preference. You guys can do however you want. I'd still say just use the Windows batch file, as I think the SPD will be just much easier to set up. But it's, okay, well, whatever you want. 
But besides that, um, thank you guys so much for watching. That was how to install Wii Link. I hope you guys enjoy the Japanese channels like uh, Wii Room or Wii Noma, Digicam, and the Food Channel. And besides that, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Hello everyone, Cutterdust99 here. So before this video ends, I first would like to apologize for taking so long on this video. I was gonna, I was gonna edit this, but by the time I finished the video, I was going on vacation, and I was gonna edit the video on vacation, but I didn't feel bothered to like edit during vacation because I mean it was vacation. I wanted to spend time just not worrying about YouTube videos. But another thing that they that was just recently done was that um they edit they've updated well we link updated the uh patcher like the Windows patcher meaning now you can just install it from uh the Windows patcher and not um have to download the Wii Link patcher for your Wii and then just install it through there and all that. Um, also, another thing I wanted to point out was the Wii Room and Digicam, just installing it through there. It was more of my patience I was lacking. It wasn't that it was, it wasn't working on Wii Link Patcher, it's just that I was really impatient. And, yeah, it's, it did lead, it did lead some confusion, but I prefer doing it through, uh, Windows. But yeah, just wanted to point that out, that, um, it, that the, uh, Wii Link 24 Patcher on, Windows was updated and now you can just install Domain through there. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out. And besides that, uh, see you guys next video.